I was taught that if a protein folded, so had a structure, that that meant it had one structure and then that was important for its function. I study proteins that actually can collapse in different ways depending on what's going on in their environment. And it turns out that these proteins are pretty important. So they're related to a number of human diseases, such as cancer, Alzheimer, gastroenteritis. There's even a COVID-19 protein that switches folds. And yet we don't really know how often this happens. We don't have a lot of examples about it. So even though it seems to be a pretty important thing for how living organisms function, the proteins are difficult to characterize and there aren't very good computational methods for discovering them. And so we're kind of just groping around in the dark, trying to find examples with the limited tools we have. If we understood better which proteins switched and how they switched, which is a more biophysical question, it may be possible to develop better therapies for diseases. Or there are, for instance, bacterial and viral proteins that switch folds that seem to be involved in human disease. So it may be possible to inhibit them from causing the diseases. But again, we really need to understand the principles, like how does the switching work? I started in 2019 and AlphaFold, which was the first AI method for protein structure prediction, was announced in 2021. And someone at NLM asked me like, does this mean that like you don't need to do your research anymore? But AI works because it's trained on large amounts of data, but fold switching is a very data poor area. So it's hard to train an algorithm on just a handful of examples and expect it to really work. So my hope is that if we can discover many more examples, that could potentially improve the AI. But I also think that as far as proteins are concerned, that there may be some fundamental principles that we still don't really understand. And if we could understand those better and like couple a more physical understanding with the AI, that could improve the tools and make them a bit more generalizable. I think this research could be a game changer because if proteins really are changing their structures and functions in the cell and alternative splicing is producing new structures with different functions, then it could fundamentally change the way that we understand how proteins work and how life works.